This is Hope, a 60 foot 8 inch long traditional style narrowboat built by Canal Transport Services, Dennis Cooper in 1990, which was fitted out by Barry Wren. When the current owner was building his first boat, his father said to him, you're going to need faith, hope and charity if you ever get that finished. Well, his first boat was called Faith, his second was Hope, and there's no prize for guessing if he ever has a third what that will be called. She's in fabulous condition. The cabin was shot blasted and repainted in 2004 and she had a recent full repaint in 2014. She was epoxy two packed, shot blasted, including the base plate in 2013. And she's just been serviced in May. The gas lock is huge, three 13 kilo bottles in there, plus ample room for storage of other bits and pieces. Cratch covers in lovely condition. The world deck's a good size at five foot four. The lockers under the bench seats here are all lockable. Very good storage space. This table is hinged, lifts up against the glazed cratch board. There are the conkers, the anti spider conkers. And the front door's a stable door type glazed. Not into the boat we go. She's beautiful. She's fitted out an oak face ply, sapili trim. Carpeted here in the saloon. Beautiful woodwork. There are lots of personal effects on the boat which will be going. But the nuts and bolts stay. The fire's a hobbit. And it's an unusual use, and I like it, of the front step storage there. There's coal in there. So it's going out for wet bags. Good cupboard here, currently used to house the gin. And the Panasonic CD radio with MP3, iPod and USB connections is there. The television you're about to see, I'll mention, also runs through that stereo system so the sound can be piped through the ceiling speakers. That's on a wall mounted bracket. That's a 24 inch TV with a DVD combo. The L shaped net doubles up into a double berth. It's very long, up to seat four or five. This is quite a clever dining table arrangement. That bolts together. There are, I think, four collapsible chairs in the cupboard behind the net here. You can seat six around the dining table. It has been done. There's the view of the saloon. Lovely room, lots of light, big windows. The windows tilt back to open. They're also fully removed, so if you needed to get out, if there were no other ways, it's easily done. And they're double glazed. There's also a curtain on board to separate the galley from the dinette for privacy, should anybody be sleeping in there. The hob's a spin flow, four burner gas hob. The oven's a venette, gas oven and grill. Good storage here under the sink. I ought to mention there's under gunnel mood lighting as well in the saloon. And here in the galley under this shelf here. You can just see it on there. The shoreline 12 volt fridge with ice box is under the surface here. All the worktops are Corian. And there's the microwave, that was brand new in 2016. The crockery cupboard over and a couple of storage cupboards either side. Lovely galley. I like these horseshoe arrangement type spaces. Lovely side hatch for light and air. Another cupboard here. There we go, two Marmite pots. They're clearly quite a possessive lover family. Lovely room. The saloon's long, it's 13 feet 11 inches long. The galley is 7 feet, so there's lots of space in these two rooms. Then we go into the bathroom. Four feet eleven long, lovely ceramic sink. That floor is beautiful, it's solid oak. The loo is a macerated pump out that was brand new in 2017. There's a towel rail in here. 
and the tiled shower cubicle there with a the bifold door and linen shelves to the left. The tower rail and the central heating on board, by the way, is heated by an Aldi compact gas system. That was new in 2009. Another radiator heated by the Aldi. And we go into the really cosy bedroom. Lots of light in here, big windows. The Calorifier, 1800 watt Stirling inverter are under the bed, along with the pump out tank. The full width bookshelf over. Really cosy room. There's a half wardrobe and lots of shelf space at the foot of the bed there. On we go into the engine room. Beautiful engine. Sweet as a nut. That's a Gardener 3LW. 4,700 hours on it. She was serviced in May 2017. Beautifully clean, really well looked after. Those badges will be going there, part of the personal effects that I mentioned. The battery bank is under that box there. Two side hatches in here, steps on either side. Beautiful. She sounds lovely when she runs. And on we go into the stunning boatman's cabin. The double cross bed is used in here. Lovely roses and castles, and the epping stoves in very good condition. This is actually a, a wardrobe in here, but that bolt you see there, when that unbolts and close the door, the drop down table drops down and functions as it should. The best of both worlds. Just show you the drop down cross bed. Not that easy with one hand and a camera in the other, but there we are. And the door into the engine room here is very clever. When this bed is down, you can't open the door, it opens inwards. There's a panel inside the door which is hinged and it opens when the bed is down. So you can get through to the rest of the boat if the bed's made up. Cupboards under, storage under the bench seat here on the left. A few shelves and little cupboard here for bits and pieces and Brasso. My second product placement of the video, Marmite and Brasso. And there's the intercom system that goes through to the saloon to order another stiff drink, cup of tea, check what time supper's ready, whatever, or just a chat. Beautiful room, really lovely. There's the view from the helmsman's position. That is Hope, stunning boat. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.